Hello guys. So uh, let us start by building our GUI. So we'll create a new Python file and let us name it as image editor version one. So right now we just we are just designing the GUI. So we'll just import a Kinter. So import printer as tk so in printer we'll start by creating a window so for that we'll type window equal to tk dot tk and this will create a window uh, a gui window for us and uh, we want this to run in a loop so we'll call the method tk dot main loop. Let us run this code. You can see we have a window appearing. This is completely blank. So I want my GUI to be like full screen. Uh, it should take the resolution from the screen it, on which it is appearing. So let us increase the size of this window. So for that we have a method called uh, let us uh, get the screen size first. So we'll write it as uh, screen width. Window dot w info. Underscore. screen width now this will return the width of the screen on which you are running this software similarly uh, we'll get the screen height so as uh, we'll store it in a variable called screen height which will be equal to window dot w info underscore screen height. So we have got a uh, screen width and screen height. Now what we have to do is we have to make our window of this size so for that we have a method called window dot geometry now in this we'll have to pass these two parameters so basically it takes parameters in the form of string and we have currently uh, integer variable so we will have to convert it into string form for that we'll use it as f quotation and in this we will write our variable screen width into screen height. So that is it. Let us run this code. And now you can see the window is of full resolution. It has taken the dimensions from the screen on which this software is running so now we, uh, let us create a few buttons like uh, i want to create three buttons over here uh, one will be import button the other will be save button and the third will be the close button so uh, let us start creating the buttons for that what i'll do is i'll use a frame for as a container as a widget uh, which will be storing all the buttons so uh, let us create a frame uh, I'll call it as frame one. Uh, frame is basically a container in which uh, uh, you can store any kind of widget. So, in the frame one, uh, we'll we'll make we'll create a frame which is called as frame frame one, and we'll call the method tk dot frame. 
and in and this frame has to be inside window so the first parameter will be the window second will be the height and width of the window so height will be equal to let us say 20 and uh, width will be equal to 200 so basically i want to show three buttons in horizontal way so that is why i've kept the width a little large uh, let us pack uh, the frame frame dot pack and uh, will and will i want it to appear on the top so what i'll do is i'll anchor it on the north side anchor will be equal to tk dot n n is nothing but the north so it will be appearing on the top side if you run this you will see there is nothing has appeared because our frame is empty so there are no buttons or any other kind of widgets in it so for that we'll create uh, a few buttons so let us create an import button which will be equal to tk dot button and in this should be appearing on frame so the first parameter will be frame and uh, the text that this the text that should appear on this button will be import and that's it uh, i'll have to place this button so for that i will be using import button dot grid and so grid pattern basically divides the whole window into rows and columns so i will be basically using row equal to zero and column equal to zero so let us try to run this as you can see the import button has appeared in the middle and uh, let us create few more buttons uh, let us create a save button so save button will be equal to tk dot button this will be also appearing on frame 1 so frame 1 comma and text will be equal to save and I will have to place this so save button dot grid and here we will use the same row so row will be equal to 0 and column will be equal to 1 let us run this as you can see both the buttons have appeared side by side in horizontal way so similarly I will create the third button that will be close button that will be equal to tk dot button and uh, this will be also appearing on frame and the text will be equal to close and uh, we'll place this button by using the method close button dot grid and for this i'll be using same row row will be equal to 0 and column will be equal to 2 so we'll run this okay so all the three buttons have appeared on the screen but uh, these are looking way too small so i just want the buttons to look little bigger so for that let us make the button little bigger so for that what i will do is for import button i will just add pad x which is nothing but the amount of space that uh, the button uh, will increase on both sides which will be equal to let us say 10 and uh, pad y will be equal to 5 let us run this 
you can see the import button has got much little bigger and the rest two are little small so we'll make them bigger as well so similarly i'll just add here padding add x will be equal to 10 and pad y will be equal to 5 I'll copy this and paste for the close button as well. I'll run this. Cool. Now this looks much better. Now other than this, we also want some method to be called when the button is pressed. So for that, there is one more parameter that we'll be adding called command. So whenever this button is pressed, the there will be a method that will be implemented. So command, let us create a function called import button underscore callback. So whenever I will press this import button, this import button callback method will be called. Similarly for save button, will add command which will be equal to save button underscore callback and similarly for close button command will be equal to close button underscore callback now this methods i haven't declared it yet so it will show me a error so let us first define all these methods so currently uh, we, we are not going to write anything in this methods we'll just pass and uh, later on we, when we'll be actually doing the image processing then we'll be writing the code in it so uh, define import button underscore callback and we'll just pass currently we just we do not want to implement here anything right now similarly i'll define save button underscore callback and here also we'll just pass and define dot callback and here also will be we'll just pass so now i guess there are no errors so let us run this you can see there are no any visual changes but uh, there is a method that is being called when i click on import save or close so just to demonstrate that what I want is when I click on close the it should destroy this complete window. So let us add that feature in our current GUI. So in close button callback instead of just passing from the function let us destroy the, uh, the window. So what I'll do is window dot destroy. This is what will be called when I press close button. So let's run this. I'm pressing on import and save, nothing is happening. But if I place close, the window is destroyed. So that's it for this video. See you in the next one.